Okay, so we are back in my bathroom. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna deal with the root situation. I had mentioned in my previous video that I was going to attempt to do a root smudge so that I can diffuse the roots without having to go in with bleach. My hair has suffered a lot of damage and there's absolutely no way that I can retouch my roots without overlapping on the rest of my hair and I don't want to do that. For today's root smudge, we're going to be using the Wella Color Charm Demi Permanent in Medium Natural Brown. This is the 4N along with the Activating Lotion. This is Demi because I am too much of a chicken to try permanent. I change my hair too often <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I do know that means that my grays are not gonna get covered well, they're just gonna pop out immediately. So I did buy the Ion Gray Serum Hair Color Additive. There's that, hopefully this won't make it too dark. I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask to fill my pre-lightened hair so that I won't get any staining from the dark root color. If you've been watching my videos and maybe forgot to subscribe, make sure to click that button and notification bell. I post videos every Thursday and we experiment with lots of fun things, um, beauty lifestyle and DIY. So welcome to the community. If you want to know how this root smudge experiment goes, then keep watching. Yes, my gloves are different. I only had one left. This is what we're rocking. Now I have my mixture all set and ready to go. One container of the color charm and two parts of the activating lotion. So four ounces of the lotion and the hair color has two ounces. I'm gonna go in with the gray serum. It looks reddish, um, so that's neat because this color definitely looks more on the gray side. I'm gonna add 20 drops. Those are the instructions. Okay, you're going to want a mirror for this so you can see what you're doing. First thing I did was dampen my whole head and I sectioned off my hair. I do recommend that you use conditioner before sectioning off your hair. I did not do that and I'll get into that in a little bit. For each section, you're going to apply conditioner and then go in with the root color. This is going to ensure that your pre-lightened hair is going to be filled so that you won't get staining with the dark shades. Again, each section is going to get first conditioner, then root color. Then you're going to blend the color with your fingers. After each section, you wanna wipe off your hands before you move on to your next section. You don't wanna stain your pre-lightened hair in any way because you have dark dye on your hands. So just keep a little rag on hand. You can go back in with more dye and pull it down if you need to, or go in with conditioner to soften the blend if you feel like it's necessary. This is interesting. Here, I discovered some spotting right at the top of my head. And the problem was that I did not use conditioner all over before sectioning off and beginning this project. So I do recommend that you use conditioner, section off your hair, and then also use conditioner on each section. It's just added layers of protection filling that pre-lightened hair so that you don't get staining as easily as I did. Once everything is applied and blended, I'm going back over the top area with dark dye. I have a lot of grays in that section. Then I take a comb and I comb through the hair. I am pulling down some of the dark dye so that I get a more even blend in between the roots and the pre-lightened hair. And my face is just beaming with confidence. Okay guys, so it is the next day early morning I have my coffee. As you can see, the hair darkened and it was a conscious choice. When I got to the top, I realized that I had some spotting in my midsections and it wasn't just one spot, there were a few. So I wasn't going to bleach the hair that had spotting. So I decided to take a comb and just comb the dye through so that I could get a better blend and that would kind of diffuse the situation and the pink really washed out I have to say um, you can see that it's more purple than pink right now because the Pravana violet really like stays in there but the pink kind of mostly faded I'm gonna take some more pink dye and just retouch it this is only the Eero Eero pink mixed in with some conditioner I added a generous amount of the pink which is why it looks neon but I have darker hair now, so I have to make sure that the mix is dark enough so that it actually takes the pink. You guys have seen this a million times, so I'm just gonna speed through this. Just going to apply the dye as I normally would and probably gonna leave it on for an hour, rinse it off, and I'll come back to show you the results. So here is my finish result. It looks much better after I reapplied the pink. Now it's more like a magenta shade. It is similar to what I had. I do have some suggestions that I learned in this process that you guys can do differently at home for better results. Number one being make sure to dampen 
your whole head and apply conditioner adding that moisture and conditioner all over ensures that you have a level of protection especially if you have super porous hair so if you do have some accidents where color is getting on the hair it won't absorb as readily because it will be somewhat filled with conditioner if you are using a comb to pull down the color to make it a more even blend i recommend that you process beforehand at least 10 minutes and then you can pull it down for the remainder of your processing time that way your hair won't darken as much as mine did while i can't guarantee that you'll get the blend that you're looking for i do think it's a good idea to use the comb because it kind of softens everything once you've tried to blend it by hand don't be shy when you're pulling down the color remember this is a root blend like a root melt you don't want it to look like you just have overgrown roots you want it to look like it's a blended color so that there's no harsh line between your roots and your pre lightened hair that is it for my attempt at a DIY root melt at home I hope this was helpful to you guys and that you were able to follow along at home if you liked it make sure to share and if you have any questions about the process that I forgot to cover in this video please feel free to leave them in the comments down below thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye